So, David, when you're working with people in the hotel business, what do you think is one of the biggest mistakes in perspective that you see? Well, when it comes to financial leadership, one of the things I do at every single workshop, the very first thing I do is I invite people to shift their thinking. And uh, what I say typically is I know that probably most of you came in here today thinking we're going to do a workshop on accounting. But I want, to sh I want you to shift your thinking because it's not accounting, it's business thinking that we're talking about today. And these are all skills that you can learn. And um, I invite you to shift your thinking because I want you to think about um, learning and I want you to think about developing your career. And I want you to think about you know, how much more prosperous you're gonna be with financial leadership skills. And it's not about accounting, it's not about getting you to do accounting, it's about actually introducing you to um, business, the business of, of hotels, not accounting. And so if we think about business thinking, you've identified some of the advantages, being able to look forward to your career and develop in that. What are some tangible elements within business thinking that you're getting people to, to start thinking about? Well, in business, if you don't have business acumen, if you don't have the uh, ability to express the strategy of the business and understand your numbers, your, your career uh, trajectory is limited. And people know that, people see that, but when you can actually show that to them and show them that there's a way that they can actually um, get that, they get excited because they, that's what they really want. So all these concepts sound well and good, they're easy to grasp, actioning them might be a little bit tougher. How can someone go about that shift to being more business oriented in their thinking? Yeah, so um, you know, one thing they can do right out of the box is get a copy of the financial statement every month, start reading it, um, find someone that can actually help them um, understand you know, the first or second thing they need to know about reading that statement. So those are things that are available in the hotel every month. And um, so that's one thing they can do. A second thing they can do is, you know, look for or find a mentor, someone who's already crossed that bridge when, with the financial piece that understands how to run their numbers in their department and uh, ask for their help. In our business, you know, the whole idea of mentorship is really strong. So that's something that, you know, that they can definitely do. And a third thing that they can do, um, you know, is, you know, when they go home tonight, just Google um, something financial related to the hotel. There's tons of stuff out there to read. Um, you, can, you can educate yourself on, on many, many aspects of hospitality, financial leadership. And another thing they can do is they can just go to my website and start reading some of my blogs. There's tons on it. And so this shift, what are some of the advantages for someone who is going to take that first step and start thinking in terms of business? Well, it's, it's about taking a, uh, a certain amount of ownership for your own career and for your own development. And um, it's kind of exciting, too, because, you know, being close to the engine room, being close to uh, what's going on inside of the business when you've previously not been there is, is an exciting thing.